Hey guys, and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. This video is going to be a bit different. I decided to make some kind of vlog because in my town we have uh, some Viking slash Middle Age festival or event. And this is why I took my weapons with me. And I want to, you know, compare them to the real steel ones with the weight or how they feel in the hand, stuff like this. And yeah. Probably I'm going to buy some swords today. The event is over there. And I don't know if you can hear anything because it's a little bit windy. Here uh, is the shop and I kind of become friend with the owner of the shop so he allowed me to take some swords and play a little bit behind the tent you know so I will not hurt anyone and I took the longsword because I was curious how big different it is compared to my synthetic longsword and I was surprised that it's not so big different because this sword was around 1.3 kilos and my synthetic sword is 1.2 kilos so it's not that big different with weight of course uh, you know it feel different and looks much cooler because steel is steel and plastic is plastic but I decided to go and buy something smaller so I decided to buy a viking sword and this is something what I could choose and I chose the cheapest one so this is how it is so this is my future sword and the owner just packing this for me in this fancy bag <laughs> so I just got my very first steel sword it was a viking sword I'm going to show you soon and I also get a one a decoration from my wife who is a regular short sword slash knife so I'm going to show you soon both of them I was on my way home but I decided to step by in the forest which is quite close to my place and I want to show you my new toys and I decided to do it in here in the forest because it's nicer background than my apartment <laughs> and I think I will just show you my new toys I mean you know Viking sword and Legolas sword slash knife and then I think I will go home leave it in home and go again for this event just to see what they have it more over there because from what I know they have some like music over there plus they have some food and workshops and some presentations and stuff like this so I think I'm going to go there again and I have to leave it my sword in home because I don't want to walk in with the sword all day because you know if police stop me then I can have some problems even I know they said that you don't need a permission for this sword because it's training sword and it's not sharp but you never know, police sometimes like to make problems where it's no problems, but yeah. And I already have some problems with police here in Denmark because of the weapons. So yeah, I don't want to have any more problems. And actually this is a false funny story. One time I, I wanted to make a video about Kubaton. And I didn't want to use money for that because because I knew that I would never use it. I want to use it only for one video, so there was no point to waste money for that. And instead of buying this one in the shop, I decided to order it on Wish. So I did it. And uh, I was waiting a few months, it didn't come. And one day I get a letter. From police that I have to co contact them so I did it and I find out that it was about the Kubaton that I am the bad guy who trying to import weapons to the country without permission so 
I have to pay a ticket for that. And actually, I make really bad deal because I try to save money, but I use much more money and even didn't get my Kubota. <laughs> so, kind of sucky. So, I didn't want to use 70 to 100 krona for this Kubaton, so I decided to order this on Wish, which I found it for 15 krona, I think, or 20 krona. And I have to pay, I think, around 1000 krona just for that, the ticket. So, really bad deal. So, if you are from Denmark or wherever and you want to order some weapon uh, from Wish, then I do not recommend it. <laughs> unless you have a lot of money and you want to waste them for stuff like this, so you are free to do it. So, this is a gift for my wife. It is a Legolas short sword slash knife and I bought it for her because when we were in the city and we stopped at this shop with the swords, they have also some fantasy swords and she liked this one. So later I come back without her and bought it for her. So she will get it later. And I get cheaper price for it because something here is, uh, this is loose, but I'm going to fix it first before I give this to her. And I get a cheaper price because of that. And you can see that this blade looks kind of nice. Of course, this is just, uh, you know, decoration I do not recommend trying to hit something with that but it's pretty nice pretty cool gonna be nice decoration for our wall or something but yeah okay so now it's time for my fighting sword so yes here we go. So my new toy look like this. And they wrote it here is Viking Sword for light combat. So it's probably not for Bokut, but for training and sparring what I do is completely enough. And for the beginning I didn't want it to uh, buy it because I was thinking oh, it's expensive, I don't need it yet because we don't use uh, protections. So you know, stuff, stuff, stuff. But then I googled it and the uh, synthetic version of this sort uh, was, uh, the price was 700 krona. And for this one, I gave uh, 1000 krona. So it's a little bit more, but instead of the synthetic sort, I get steel sword for training and for sparring and you know, this will give already some different look for the videos and yeah, I kind of like it. Of course, you can feel it that it's more heavy than synthetic version and I kind of like it. It's really nice and I can look one more time. The handle looks nice and of course the blade is blunt so I cannot hurt anything and you can see that it's not sharp so it's safe for training and I think next weekend I go in to meet with Shinobi and we're going to try it out in sparring he have a synthetic version of Viking sword so he going to have a his sword I'm going to bring two shields and this sword so we can you know try to play Vikings Maybe we're going to visit this uh, Viking uh, village, what we have seen some time ago, I think it was a year ago. I think it was the second time when I was training with Shinobi. And yeah, now after a year, we have a little bit more experience, better toys, <laughs> so it's going to look much nicer. And yeah, of course, I have to be super careful with this because, you know, is a steel sword, not a plastic sword, so I have to be more careful. I know it's not sharp, but still can be painful when you get hit. So I think next step we have to just get some 
<laughs> armor, some protections. And then we're going to be more serious about it. But for now, you can see one more time the sword. We're going to remove the sticker in home, but for now, I'll just show you how it is. I'm going to show you some clips for this event. I think it was an interesting event. It was quite nice to see some stuff over there. So now event is over, so it's nothing more just to go home and I hope that you enjoy this kind of content and thank you for watching, see you next time.